everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. As we head towards kickoff, two quarterbacks will be on the field today trying to push their team to victory. It's Cousins Redskins going up against Rivers' Chargers. With that, let's welcome in our fine broadcast team. Here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Larry, football is back in Los Angeles as we welcome you inside the StubHub Center in Carson, California. The scene a moment ago, unlike any other in the NFL for a lot of years, the crowd here in Carson might be half the size of a normal NFL stadium, but they are twice as loud as their Chargers get set to face off with the Washington Redskins. Hi again, everybody, alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and you know, now more than ever, it's a passing league. We know that, and as Larry hit onto the open, we've got a couple of great passers squaring off here this afternoon. And usually the discussion centers in on how they're going to compete against the opposite defense. But you and I had a nice little chat with one of these guys in this <laughs> game, and they did say, look, I'm always competing against the opposite quarterback. If I play better than he does, I think my team has an advantage. Makes the handshake afterwards a little sweeter, too. This one taken from the seven. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. So out comes the Redskins offense now onto the field. They'll be led out by the veteran quarterback out of Michigan State, the former Spartan, it's Kirk Cousins. I think he just gets better and better. He was third in the NFL in passing yardage in 2016. In fact, over the last two seasons, over 9,000 yards passing, the fourth most in the NFL. This is the first carry for Rob Kelly. He takes this for three to the 29. And here a look at the offensive starters for the Redskins. The Washington offense in 2016 ended up ranked in the top five in the NFL. In fact, they have number three overall. So how did they get it done? Well, head coach Jay Gruden, he's the guy who's really the master play caller. He's known for his ability to throw the football, but he'd love to run it. They were only number 21 in the league in 2016, coupled with number two in throwing the ball. If they're able to get their running numbers up, they could really be dangerous in 2017. They'll go again with Kelly. He works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. With that, let's take a look here at the Charger defense. In 2016, the Chargers defense had its moments. They were ranked 10th against the run. Overall, total defense, though, they were 16th because they struggled a little bit against the pass, but they had a number of injuries, and they expect those guys back this year and expect to be an improved unit overall. Third play here, this opening drive, as they're up against a third and five. Now Cousins. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. And that's a great opening series defensively. You force what should be a three and out on your opening possession. And great coverage there on third down to force the incompletion to set up fourth. Now the fourth-year man from Oklahoma, Tress Way on to punt. Travis Benjamin deep for the Chargers. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. The three and four Los Angeles Chargers taking the field. I still, in the back of my mind, want to call them San Diego. But Phillip Rivers getting that win over Denver 21 to nothing last week, threw for two touchdowns, no interceptions. Pretty effective. You know what's really strange? You said Los Angeles. I heard San Diego. So we're all trying to <laughs> we're make in that. We're in sync then, yeah. Right? We're all trying to make that adjustment, but that's exactly who they are. Back to the future. Originally were the Los Angeles Chargers. They're back to that now. And Phillip Rivers got the job done. A big win against Denver after a rough start to the season. Don't look now. But the Chargers have won three in a row. 
Now a first carry for Melvin Gordon. And he'll get only a couple up to the 22. And the offensive starters here for Los Angeles. In 2016, the Chargers were ranked 14th overall in offense. They were only 26th in rushing, but that's not because they couldn't run the football. In fact, Melvin Gordon ran it pretty well at times. Overall, though, this is a pass-first team led by their quarterback, Phillip Rivers. They finished eighth in the league in throwing the football. Now a second down throw for Rivers, and his throw here is incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Hunter Henry, third down here. Now not to get too overcritical there, because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. Single, single. Single single <laughs> On third down, Rivers. And that's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And with it, time has expired on the first quarter. So we've reached the end of a fairly even first quarter of play. Nothing, nothing, our score. We'll come back to Southern California after this. The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. Back now to begin the second quarter with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. It's the Chargers here with a football. But likely not for long as they're in punt formation to kick it away. On to punt, Drew Kayser, second-year man from Texas A&M. Back deep here, Jamison Crowder. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Crowder now to return. 62 yards on the punt that time. Wow. And it'll be Redskins football now with a first and 10. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. Cousins now to throw on first down. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. Given six on the play, and that'll make this a second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. Second down, Cousins. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Now the Chargers are going to look up here and signal for a timeout. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. Cousins with work to do after the sack as he brings his guys up on a third and long. On the ground, it's Thompson. And now the Chargers are going to signal for another timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime.
the defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. Here's Tressway now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And great special teams work here. This is knocking on the door of the five. They'll spot it at the six-yard line. The Chargers offense gets set. They head back onto the field. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. First down, Rivers. And now he's taken down. And Rivers in the end zone. Down to the ground he goes. That results in a safety and two points. So after a scoreless first quarter, we at least finally get some points on the board. But it can't be what either of us expected, can it? No. The safety's not what you expect for the first points of the game. But one of the goose eggs is gone. So free kick situation forthcoming from the 20 as they'll punt this one away. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. Automatic first down. down throw for Cousins. Out to the left here to Reed. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. I mean, there's any question that Jordan Reed is as athletic as any tight end in the league. All right, I don't think there's any debate about that. The hard part is just him being able to be healthy. And when he's on the field, though, boy, does he take them to another level, doesn't he? He certainly does. Changes the game for them because they can use him in so many different spots and create mismatches against the defense. Now a second down throw for Cousins. And this will be a dump off for Kelly. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So the offensive unit called the T.O. And now we are ready to resume play. First and ten, Cousins, and Reed with it over the middle. 
Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. As the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Second down now after the pass completion. They'll throw again. Cousins. And an alley to run. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. A solid gain of 15 yards in the sticks move. And some room to maneuver. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. It's a gain of five, and that'll make it second down. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So the offense takes the timeout, and they are back out and ready to rock. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. From the left hash, this from 46. And this one is right through. And that will give us the very rare score line of five to nothing. So it's our first offensive points of the game so far, and it gives us a very rare score line. We don't see this one often, five nothing. Yeah, it's been sort of a weird one to this point, hasn't it? But hey, in this league, you take points any way you can get them. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Brandon Oliver now on the return. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Time running short here. They'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we have come upon halftime, and it's the visiting Redskins who have the lead here. All right, Brandon, back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, let's get you caught up on all the highlights from the first half. Both teams have done enough to be leading here to this point, but in a close game, you know the second half is going to have some more twists and turns, which should lead to some excitement. All right, let's do this. Here's the first half highlights. We go to the second quarter. Legion's going to push his way to the QB here. This ends up as a huge loss in yardage. It's 
first and ten. Brown's going to push his way to the QB here. This will go for a loss of seven. That takes the lead up to two. Redskins have the football midway through the second. Reed's wide open here on the catch, and he'll eventually be brought down, but not before getting to their own 38-yard line. Sticking with the same drive, Cousins going to look for a gap, and he won't be brought down until he makes it to the 33-yard line. Okay, Larry, thank you. No touchdowns in our first half. What will we see in half number two? Time to find out. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This is taken at his four. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. They'll start the third quarter on the ground with Gordon. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. the gun rivers and his throw is incomplete keenan allen the intended receiver and it'll bring up third down sometimes the coverage is so good no matter what you're doing on offense you just can't shake anyone free they try their best to find someone open but they took away every passing alley every angle and shut the play down Third down, Rivers. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. Another drive comes and goes. Still nothing on the scoreboard. Yeah, and when the second half comes, you know, it's real easy to get discouraged and wonder if you're ever going to get things started. You just got to fight through it. Got to keep pounding away. Here's Drew Kayser now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Now it's Crowder. And when it's said and done, it's a 58-yard punt. And the Washington offense will be backed up to start this drive as they've got it first and 10. So now we look at the Redskins offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, Let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense. We got the lead. Yeah. We got the, de we got the, got the lead. Defense. Don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut them down. Let's see what the offense gets done.
three yards remaining here on second down. They'll hand it off to Kelly. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. But just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Fresh set of downs here. Now a play fake here on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. Second down here after the incomplete pass. Give. This is Kelly. Broken tackle for Kelly. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. Well, how many times do we say in this game that speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary, and that led to a really nice game. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now at the StubHub Center in Carson. It's the Redskins with the football and the lead as we start the fourth. So the offense has it first and 10. They'll keep it in the hands of Kelly. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. Second down following the run. Kelly and he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46 and now with 152 to go we get another pause in the action a timeout here defensively so the defense had a chance to catch their breath and now they're back out and ready And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. Kelly tries to right side. And he is going to lose yardage here. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. 
It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. It's Kelly, and he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation, and taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. And here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. They run it here with Thompson. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Four yards on the pick up there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And this score will stay right where it is. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. field here comes Los Angeles critical condition here obviously got to hope to get something quick right and then maybe take that shot deep and once they do take the big shot you've got to worry on defense of course no one getting behind the defense and make it an easy throw but nowadays it's not just the ball being tipped in the air and people in the end zone in a cluster it's that guy that's short of yep. the end zone who comes up and ends up making the play because he goes unguarded so there's a lot to think about if you're playing defense in this situation we'll see if they can cover all their bases rivers to throw he's gonna let it fly and that's gonna be incomplete 12 seconds left. Allen, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. There's definitely contact there, but it's the fourth quarter of a kind of tight game, and sometimes the officials just say, let them play. Kind of like your mom used to, you and your brothers, just take the broom to you and send you out to the backyard and tell you to settle it yourselves. <laughs> I like that, yeah. There was contact. I don't know, like you said, enough to warrant the flag. It was close, though. Rivers. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked up by the safety, D'Angelo Hall. And that one, oh, it's going to hurt big time. You're in the two minute drill trying to get your guys down the field, and it's looking like they're going to go up just short, as this is definitely not his best throw. And it'll wind up being intercepted.
Cousins is going to take this one down to a knee and end it. And the storyline of this one, Charles, no doubt the number zero. Zilch, nada. A shutout so hard to do in the NFL. It really is. And what an accomplishment because you feel that not just on the defensive side, but as a full team, there's a lot of pride that goes into shutting out an opponent. And how about that zero on the scoreboard for them going along with those zeros in the time column, too? So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. From